Every home and garden has its challenges, no matter where you live. We've got one today from Chantal in Canada. This place really has a lot of potential. A little background on what Chantal has here. This is her first home. She's in her early 30s. She's interested in doing something that's kind of hip and modern. She's not really into the traditional cottage look. And this is her backyard. She's already told me that she worked very hard on getting this grass to grow last year. And this year she's cutting all the trees out in the back. She sent me a few photographs. So I'll show you another one in just a moment and we'll look deeper into the back area. But right now I just wanna focus on this space that's right around the back door, it looks like of the house, and this patio or deck that she has already built. Now, one of the things that I notice here is that this seat is right against the fence. We have a house that's very close to Chantal's house. What I typically like to do in these kinds of situations is come in and do some sort of screening that would come up, maybe some sort of arborvita hedge that would come up on her side of the garden to screen off this house so she would have absolute privacy and really begin to make this a garden room. Another idea would be to mark off part of this particular part of the deck. You see you come from the front of the house, presumably across here, and do a pergola that would come up in line with the top edge of the house here and cover the top of this with some shade timbers so that you can get up under here and you can sit and you could actually put some trellis in behind it, Chantal, and grow a vine on it. And that would help block the view of this house it would also make this space more intimate. You mentioned that you liked small, intimate spaces. Then you could leave your seating or your benching intact. And then what I would do is think about coming out here with this same pattern of stone all the way across and jag this back. And then what you would do is you would step down, have another step down right here. It would connect with this step down onto this. And this would be stone and you really expand that outdoor living, that outdoor space. Now then on this deck, one of the best ways for beginner gardeners to really get their hands in the soil and have success is to think about some containers. So you could do containers, big square containers here with bright colors. They could be glazed containers, clustering them, maybe some here as well. And on the steps that would come down, and then also here with some really fun colors and fill those with all kinds of annuals and pick a color theme. Any color theme, you, you might want magentas and pinks and make sure that all of these containers reflect that. Where you might use some of the supertunias, you might use some of the calabracoas or superbells or even gara, all kinds of things. Even herbs would be beautiful in some of these containers because you're coming right out the back door so you could easily pick them. Now you talked about taking the trees out. Let's take a look at another view of the house, which gives us a sense of what you're looking out of from the back of your house to the back of your property. So as you can see here, there are houses behind as well. So in order to create that intimacy, think about these trees being gone because Chantal, you mentioned that you were gonna take all of them out. And it looks like you have some storage units back here. And what I think would be interesting would be to bring that stone path uh, that we talked about straight across like this. So you're gonna repeat these squares all the way across like this, all the way down. So you're gonna expand this, if you will. It's gonna be like this. You have this grid of these pavers. Then what I would do is come in here with some sort of hedge all the way across the front of these storage and let this just be an expanse of lawn and bring that same stone pattern all the way around and over to the sides. Because you've got a very geometric house and if you go with that, you're gonna have a really sort of modern design with this, with this rectilinear piece of lawn. And then here's where I was talking about placing those big containers full of uh, annuals or herbs or whatever ever you want. Also on the corner of the deck here, you could even place some here with some things growing out of them. And in this bed, if it remains on the north side of the house, it looks like it's very shady. I would fill this with ferns 
Just let that grow up with ferns and keep it very simple. And with that arbor structure that I was talking about to help screen from the neighboring house, growing a vine up on it, a form of wisteria or some sort of hardy vine on the top of it would also give you a little protection from the sun because you're gonna be wide open now with all these trees gone. So you're gonna want a place that it's really hot in the summer to get up under and kick back and enjoy it. Well, Chantal, I hope this is helpful. Uh, for those of you who have landscape issues or house issues that you want to discuss, send me a picture. We'll take a look at it and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.